Chapter 1. Your Playing Field. Dispelling the Myth of Meritocracy. The biggest reason talented managers don't advance as quickly as they should is that they don't fully understand the playing field. We make false assumptions about corporate dynamics, causing us to build suboptimal strategies for our advancement. A good starting point is some clarity on how corporations really operate and what really drives decision-making in a company. We all want to believe companies act with logic and fairness. We want to believe they identify and reward hard work, talent, and passion with career advancement. We build our career strategies based upon these assumptions. Unfortunately, that is not how corporations work in reality. The Corporation I Know In this first chapter, we're going to look at a set of little-known, albeit universal, corporate dynamics that stand in stark contrast to the widely held perceptions of how companies operate. These dynamics conspire to make conventional career tactics ineffective. They are the reason hard work, reliability, and talent do not, in and of themselves, form a winning strategy in the corporate world I know. In actual fact, most corporations function in a manner that actually favors the incompetent executive. Let's examine the playing field more closely so we can build a career strategy designed to win in the real environment we're playing in. We speak about companies with a certain assumed respect for operational integrity and logic. The media reports on corporate strategy and execution as though they're mechanical and well-conceived but it doesn't take more than about six months working in middle management inside a typical corporation to realize that all companies are badly flawed from top to bottom. On the inside, we see just how bad things really are. Companies I've worked with almost universally operate with no logic or memory whatsoever. Let me give you some classic examples. Every couple of years, we need to retrain the sales force on some new selling methodology so we don't have to admit we have hired weak talent. Every three years, it's mandatory to relaunch the partner program to let the world know you're a partner-friendly company. That will make all the difference. And at least once every five years, we need to bring all the regional teams under one global umbrella under the guise of building international go-to-market consistency. It's a ridiculous cycle, ostensibly about building excellence, but in reality about saving face and distributing blame. Launching the new sales partner program is not about improving distribution or market share. Bono, audio ebook doc site.